This lioness definitely has cubs. You can see how her belly's sagging. And her nipples are very prominent. And I'm wondering if it's one of the same lionesses we were watching yesterday afternoon. We just bumped into her. And I can't be certain if it is, but there's a small scar on the left-hand side of her muzzle that leads me to think that it is part of the Olololo pride. It's three lioness. All that look to be of similar age. There we can see her stomach. I'm fairly certain that this lady has got some cubs. And we actually lost them further up this riverbed she's just kind of heading into now on Sunday nights. And they had marched straight back towards this riverbed with a lot of intent. So she may have been wanting to, I'm just going to reposition quickly. She may have been wanting to actually get back to her cubs to nurse them. So exciting stuff. I wonder, actually, I think we need to go backwards. We need to go backwards in order to go forwards here. There's another little road that we can take and try and catch up with her again. Do the whole thing in reverse, why not? That'll possibly provide Ferg with some good angles actually as she comes into view. Sorry if this is making you feel a bit strange. <laughs> but this is going to actually get us and Ferg into the best spot to film her making her way towards us. At least in theory, that's what I'm hoping. So she should. Pop up. Somewhere here. Imagine if she takes us back to her cubs. Come on, where have you gone? Huh. You got her there, Ferg? Well done. Oh, right there. Now, I'm guessing at this stage of the day, she could be thinking about getting comfortable in that shade. Who knows, there's so many places in these little riverbed systems where she could tuck her cubs away in root systems of the trees that have been washed away, creating small caves. There's lots of good hiding places. And the fact that she's not with her two sisters also indicates that possibly they are elsewhere, possibly looking for a meal. Maybe they don't have the responsibility of cubs at the moment. And again, this is all just speculation, but I'm sure a lot of you will agree that her belly indicated that she is certainly producing milk. And that would mean that she has cubs. Well, what an incredible morning it's been, not only here in the Masai Mara, but also in the Sabi Sands at Juma. We've certainly loved having you guys join in. Apologies for the technical issues in the beginning of the safari, but thanks for those of you who stuck it out and waited to join us on the action. We are going to have to continue the quest for the leopard between Taylor, Tristan, and myself and get to the bottom of it, but that'll be on another safari. We'll see you guys out this afternoon. Looking forward to another great safari. See you next time.